the contracts for leasing are way different in Texas. It's a TAA, Texas Apartment Association. And it was just very interesting helping um, helping clients in, in UT. First first two years, I didn't really know the, the Austin market as well. But through the relationships I built through those first two years with property managers and whatnot, I was actually able to just tell the property managers, hey, you know what? I have these clients. I'm going to send them over to you. And they would usually just sign right on the dot right there. So it was really cool seeing that, build a lot of clientele through that. And just in general, I mean, with leasing, I really learned how to be the most efficient by asking great questions in order to figure out what people really want. So before freshman and and sophomore, I was like, oh, what do you want? And showing them like 10 properties and then junior and senior, I was like, okay, I ask like four questions and now I know what you want and I'm going to take you to two apartments and I know you're going to love those two and it's going to be a hard decision between the two. So that was great, you know? So, so ju- I'm sure there are a lot of people curious, like what, what were those four questions just to, uh, so, to help our audience out? Of course. So what area are you looking into? It, they're very easy questions, but it just gave me a real good idea of what people wanted. What area are you looking into? It was almost always West Campus, which is an area in Austin. And then the beds to baths, that's very important. How many roommates? That's also important because they might want three beds, but they're going to have four roommates, so you never really know. And then also one that would always help is kind of giving me idea uh, an idea of you know what, what amenities are deal breakers for you? What do you really want in these amenities? And from there, when I got those top four, I was like, okay, this is easy. Now I really know what you want. 